The United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, has urged law enforcers in Nigeria to prosecute perpetrators of female genital mutilation against children in accordance to the laws prohibiting the practice to serve as deterrents to others so as to end the practice. This was the thrust of a three-day training for law enforcement agents, judicial officers and relevant government agencies drawn from Oshun, Ekiti, and Oyo State on enforcement of legal framework for the elimination of female genital mutilation FGM held in Akure, Ondo State. UNICEF Child Protection Specialist Mrs. Inkiru Madweche C said FGM is one of the worst human rights violations and that perpetrators should be arrested and prosecuted according to the law. Madweche C said, with the intervention of UNICEF in the five states with high prevalence of FGM practice, 953 communities have denounced the practice and publicly declared FGM abandonment. The five states include Ekiti, Imbu, Oshun, Oyo, and Ebony in southwest and southeast. She noted that the rate of FGM practice in the five states reduced drastically between 2013 and 2018, according to Nigeria Demographic and Health Survey. Saying, let's come together. Let's come together to uphold the rights of our mothers, our sisters, our daughters. When our women and our daughters, our sisters are protected, the whole society will enjoy the benefit. Let's uphold the laws that we have passed let's enforce it when these cases come to you please treat it with all seriousness as you would a murder case as you would an armed robbery case because this is one of the worst crimes against a human being that you your god given right to enjoyment or your god given right to life will be tampered by another human being it's simply unacceptable I should not be tolerated. UNICEF, Senior Program Associate for Child Protection Section and Focal Point for the Female Genital Mutilation LGM Program, Mrs. Fidelia Abbas, said more still need to be done to ensure total eradication of FGM practice in Nigeria. Mrs. Abbas said effort to end FGM would not stop until the practice becomes a thing of the past and no child is caught again. FGM program has been in existence in Nigeria for a couple of years. Uh, we have recorded some successes. Uh, we have been able to intervene in about 953 or 973 communities or thereabout where um, FGM, FGM has been publicly denounced and abandoned. Uh, we are not resting uh, on our oars. We are still pushing to ensure that FGM is a thing of the past in these communities and in all the states uh, where we are intervening. And until every child and no child is caught, we will not stop in our efforts on the elimination.